Hi guys, I'm Mr. Hume. I'm the IB film teacher and uh, thank you so much for joining us on uh, YouTube for the very first ever IB online film festival. Uh, today we're going to spend about 25 minutes or so watching this video and uh, then we'll switch to uh, a Zoom chat which we're going to stream. It'll have the, the guys from the Film 2 class on it and they'll be available to answer any questions you might have after watching the films. The, the video you're going to watch is uh, around 25 minutes or so, and uh, the first part of it is three films that I've asked uh, people in the first year film class to contribute. So uh, we have a little piece from Viva, uh, a slightly longer piece from Tim, and a part of a short film that Polly made before she came to KIS, and we've used that as a, a, one of the resources in the, in the, uh, in the directing unit. After that, we'll, uh, we'll switch over and uh, we'll look at the work that was produced in the Film 2 classroom. We'll begin with uh, some very carefully chopped together interviews that I did with the guys, uh, asking them about, about the work and about how they feel about it, and then uh, we'll, we'll have a look at their film. While you're watching, uh, feel free to type any questions you might have in the comments. Omar, Hassan, and Daniel, like I said, they're going to come on after this video and they will answer questions by reading them from the comments. I really, really hope you enjoy it. I'm, I'm so proud of the work these guys did. Uh, obviously, the, this campus shutdown had a huge impact on the way they were uh, able to work and the fact that their plan was malleable and flexible and uh, robust enough to survive that torpedo to the waterline uh, is incredible. And uh, I think the film that they wound up with is also a pretty incredible piece of work. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll let you enjoy. I hope you have a great time. Thank you so much for being here. I think that the answer is no. Really? Why would I want to fly? Uh, I'd rather be invisible. And I could check who's cheating during my tests. <laughs> no, that would be horrible. Flying gives you a sense of freedom and peacefulness. Invisibility isn't as fun as it looks. Oh, really? I... I'm sorry, I need to get this. It's my wife. Uh, yes? I'm in school. You think I won't make it? Okay. Bye. Uh, I'm so sorry, I have to go. Uh, my wife has reserved a table for dinner. Can we finish this sometime later? Or I'll get someone who's part of the student council. Uh, yeah. Uh... I can stay though. I don't know about that. No, really, it's okay. It's not a problem. I don't think that's smart. No, no, I'll stay. Really, it's not a problem. Hmm. Uh, okay, uh, just this once, just because there's so much. Just make sure you have a ride home. I don't want any incidents. Of course. No problem. Okay, walk up before you leave. Uh, bye. Goodbye. M Mr. Brooke, you forgot your wallet. Hey Steve, you got a second? Yeah, I was just gonna shut down the whole thing for tonight. Alright, um, I just wanna ask, how much longer are we gonna be working on this? Oh, that's a good question, I, I honestly don't know. Probably less than a month though, cause we either get a working build built by then, or we drop the whole thing. Alright, um, I'm looking forward to not sitting in a cramped room anymore. Yeah. Where's the off sound? Crap, now nobody's here. This is great. Yeah, we should probably just shut it down. Alright, it was... E excuse me? I refuse to deal with this sort of shit right now. Wait, wait, wait. What was that? What do you mean? You know full well, Thought 246. I 
No, I, I don't. Buckle up. This doesn't look anything as I expected it to. Early tonight. Usually she lasts longer. Look at you, all nine. Yellow. A few months and you'll become a light motive. <laughs> you right. Twelve? What, what are you talking about? So white and innocent. Where did you come from in the first place? I... I like grapes. <laughs> <laughs> Just choose your side, kid, and stick with it. Unless you want to disappear in ten minutes. <laughs> Five bucks this kid won't last long. I am a disaster. Yes. Yes, you are indeed. Shut your mouth, 09. She's great. Didn't you see Jamie's reaction to the latest thing she drew? 24's right. He liked it. Especially the elephant skin part. So, let's agree that you're good at drawing. Good? Yeah. I'm, I'm good, aren't I? Very unique. Um, I would say it's uh, a story about a tormented person. We're, shoot we're treating it through the perspective of an uh, of the antihero, but like st he's still like the protagonist. He's the main character of the short film, but he's still an antihero. He's still someone who's gonna try to commit a crime, like something that um, that's commonly known like around society as a cr as a crime, and it's frowned upon. Instead of us having the uh, the victim being focused on, we instead have the uh, intruder perhaps being focused on. We human we, we humanize this um, char character who we just see tormented, but also we see a very dark side of. We we kind of want to show the hierarchy of the school dynamic and see how that can be battled against. <laughs> We started off with Blackguard Assembly just simply by brainstorming ideas in a film to roundtable. So I heard the pitches that we had and the pitch that we went for specifically and I said uh, how about we do it from the point of view of the intruder instead of the victims. And that just snowballed into this huge idea. Um, someone entering a house and you know, whether that's shot from the perspective of the victim or the one entering the house um, showcasing school hierarchy the issues was in school As, yeah we I used right to the right um, to write the script so basically it's like this like it has like gives you like all like the tools you need to actually like, write like a form a correct a correctly formatted a script. So when um a, the cash read, reads it, they know like what they're supposed if this is action, they need to say this here, they need to wait here, they need to do this. Um when it came to the storyboard I tried to want to do something a little more unique rather than drawing. Um I was just speaking to my brother one day and just luck behold, I like he told me about this software regarding called Storyboarder. It was actually really good. And what Storyboarder was essentially was that you could quickly visualize your ideas, and then the camera would be in a certain FOV angle, a certain perspective, and then you have two people, two like uh, mannequin ragdolls, just like pasted into the screen, so that you could convey the um, energy in the scene or the purpose or like the dynamic between two characters 
Well, I use the the standard um, audio editing software that's like uh, most recognizable, Audacity. Uh, but for the most part, I used um, Ableton, which is a music production uh, audio editing software that is uh, pretty versatile. Although I had my fair share of troubles with the software, I still managed to get through it and make the soundtrack. Some of the some of the edits, uh, audio edits I made were done in Premiere Pro with the clip inserted. I guess we kind of matured over half a year. As a group, we had like, as any group does, we had like inconsistencies where we like didn't like agree with each other, we disagreed and it was like very frustrating. As you like to say, there was a lot of no buts instead of yes and. But also I think um, being a group and having worked with each other for two years now, we were able to create a chemistry to get like um, Pat get through and pass these hardships and we were able to come to the compromises. Uh, I guess I would wrap it up in one phrase. Three heads are better than one. And ultimately made a better, help create a better film. I would compare this to like a three-way tug of war that we all ended up winning somehow. Give me a second. Getting production done early. I would have to agree with Hassan on the best part. I think it was the production. I think best part was our organization. Um, because of organization, we were able to actually like quarantine wasn't really like a a barrier or a limit for us because we already had everything done beforehand. It was uh, it's a reason why I think our film turned out um as good as it did turn out. A lot of people gathered in one place, and we just had we worked. But we also had fun. And the worst part was probably... Working with uh, composing. Be me being the screenwriter, um, I had to create a good, a, a strong, a strong entertaining story which um, had potential. Like, yeah, of course, like stylistic devices, some devices matter in a film, but without a good plot. And I have terrible, extremely terrible um, perfectionist tendencies. Um, having so me being the one to actually write the script, I think that burden also was part part of the worst. So I tried to perfect the soundtrack as much as I could, but I also kept in mind that I don't have that much time left. It, it'll take me a while to list everyone, but I'm uh, sorry, it's been a long time in quarantine. My mind's kind of rusty. Well, first and foremost, I think I should thank both my classmates. There's Mr. Hume. Uh, our teacher, Mr. Hume. There's Jesse, of course. Jesse isn't with us here, but I'd like to thank him. Uh, him being around and doing a lot of the work and um, in regards to cinematography and visualizing what there was on the storyboard. Uh, yeah, couldn't thank him more for that. Then there's Evan. There's Evan. Georgia. There's Azamad. There's Daniel. There's Sebastian. Danielle. Daniela. Zuza for makeup. There's Zuza W, secondary three one. Uh, Sofia Surjak for makeup. There's Tura. Miss Olga for uh, providing us with some props necessary in the production stages. So George Fikens. Vova was an actor. He was one of the blackers. He did the acting. Um, Miss Effendi Hassan's mom. She was like also a very big part in like production yeah. and like shooting without her you wouldn't like have a place to shoot in yeah i mean both my parents but uh other than that she, my mother was thank you bless her and just making people feel comfortable at home and i must thank her for that we wanted to risk it it's it's very unique from our side at least we know the value of the work we put into it I know how much effort went to it, but I also know the challenges and the risks we took to actually um, create the film and bring out a product which the viewers will see. We started off with an idea that we had, uh, we thought had a lot of potential, and we just stuck with it and we were very determined to make sure that it was something different. I think we like they were, they were very brave and it was it was like it was a very brave move to do and to see how they will pay off. I think it's very rewarding. 
uh, we, we just wanted to make a story that was enthralling, something that could attract a student's attention. Just the university and I almost see how it goes from there. Yeah. I would uh, say this anecdote that my uh, forehead is better than my future. Thank you for watching the wow. movie. We hope you enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I need to finally win a fight. Who's we? Hello? Hello? Hello?
saw your chat with Stacy. Dude, you better get out of here, you'll regret it. Give it to me. What? Anything, give it. Oh, okay. No. Oh. Leave me alone, you creeps! 